Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 282. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 276 to 284. Hey, in this trick, we have a little database. I just have a little teeny one here. Some names and birthdays. And our goal is to build a formula that we can look at every day and it'll tell us whose birthday it is. Well, we're going to do it in two steps. We're going to use the today function to tell us today's date, and then we have to match it. Is today's date, month, and day the same as any of these? Equals today, and that's an argument function right there. Now, 3 slash 5 slash 2009. Now, there's already a problem if we try to match this against these because these have different years. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, keep the today function there which it will update each day we come in but we're gonna use the text function to format it just with month and day text and the key to text is you have a value and then you put a comma and you need custom number format now the custom number format for month and day is in quotes M slash D, end quote. The text function requires that custom number format to be in quotes. If you were applying that in the format cells dialog box, you would not need quotes. All right, so there we have it, 3, 5. Now we can uh, have it look through these. We're going to use the index function equals index. Now, the array, the thing we want to return to this cell are the names, right? OK, so we have that there comma and now we need a row number now we need row one it'll give us uh, name one or row three and it'll give us that now there's duplicates here I'll show you a formula that will deal with the duplicates later but the, the basic formula here we will not worry about duplicates now how are we going to do the row number well we need to look through here and match it against that did we use a text function here yeah we did so we'll use a text function here when we uh, analyze those that column of dates but first we need the row number the match function does that the match function will give us ask us hey what value do you want to look up comma where is the lookup array well if I highlighted these they would just be serial numbers so we actually need to do our same trick with the text function and come to the end comma and the same custom number format month slash day and double quote, close parentheses. So that's the lookup array, comma, and the match type has to be exact. We're going to use exact, close parentheses, and then we close on the index and control enter. Now we have a little problem here, so I'm going to hit F2. This is an array formula, so when we enter it, if we hit enter or control enter, it won't work, but if we hit control shift and enter, these little curly brackets get put in automatically and we have our formula. Now let's go ahead and change some dates here. Uh, 2 slash 5 slash 1999. Change this one to 1 slash 1 slash 1980. And we'll change this one to 3 slash. Notice there's an error there. We'll see, let's look at that in just a moment. 3 slash 5 slash 2000. Sure enough, then we get name two. So this formula is the base. This will not deal with errors or duplicates. Here's another way to do it with month and day. If you want to look at that, you similarly have a month and day there. Uh, to deal with the error in 2003, you have to take your whole formula right here, copy it, and then do if is error and parentheses around that because the is error says is that an error when that comes out to be true then you put a blank otherwise you evaluate the whole thing notice that you have to evaluate this index thing twice 2003 that's how you had to do it 2007 there's if error there are a bunch of amazing new things in Excel 2007 that make it far superior to earlier versions and this is one of them not only is it faster to type in but it calculates much faster some ifs is another example in 2007 which is just amazing now duplicates we're not going to get into it in this one this I have some uh, 
re reverse lookup, uh, two-way lookup uh, playlist where you can go and see how to construct a formula like this. But there it is. That's how to deal with duplicates. And then you'd copy it over. Now let's go ahead and see if we change one of these up here to 3, 5, slash, 3, slash, 5. And then sure enough, these formulas pop up with uh, the duplicates. Again, I always have uh, these workbooks to download. There's a bunch of um, formulas here for you to look, plus a bunch of notes up here. All right, that's the basics of how to uh, retrieve someone's name when it's their birthday. All right, we'll see you next trick.